We are here outside of the Gilliard Performance Hall, kind of in the heart of the pre-debate action, because in less than an hour, the Democratic presidential candidates will take the stage to answer those tough questions on how they would lead the country if they were to become president. But right now, several groups are actually outside of the venue rallying around those issues they want to see the presidential candidates touch on in tonight's debate. Now, we're seeing such a large presence because South Carolina plays an important role in this election process. On Saturday, the Democratic preference primary will take place and is a chance for voters to express who they want to see on the ballot in November. It also helps decide the delegates for the national convention. And in this primary, the election commission is already reporting a 50% increase in absentee ballots than the last time a Democratic primary was held. Traditionally, South Carolina selects, traditionally, excuse me, the person South Carolina selects as the nominee is the person that ends up on the ballot. And this is largely because the state's demographics and population size is similar to other states in the country, unlike the makeup of Iowa and New Hampshire. Now, a few of those rallies planned today were on behalf of the American Civil Liberties Union. I actually caught up with the organizer earlier this afternoon who outlined some of those issues the group wants to hear in tonight's debate. Criminal justice reform, immigration justice, reproductive freedom, and voting rights, um, in particular, ending mass incarceration by 50% uh, within the presidency, ending, these, ending the use of ICE detainers, lifting the Hyde Amendment, and allowing people uh, the right to vote, even those, who, those people who are currently incarcerated. Charter school activists were also out here rallying for education reform and enhanced education policies. And as you know, education is one of the top issues here in the state that South Carolina lawmakers are also trying to address. Live in Charleston, George Rigodfrey, 7 News.